Oh, look at all these Indian faces. Jesus Christ. Look at you brown bastards. God damn. Indians just look upset that they had to spend money to be here tonight, don't you? <laughs> it's a look on their face. Just... This is bullshit. I don't know why I'm spending money to see someone that looks just like me. I can stay home and look in the mirror for free. We are an endless supply of cheap jokes. And you know what the best thing about it is? Indian people, we're proud of our cheapness. That's the, you're never going to insult us by calling us cheap. That's the best part, you know. You walk up to an Indian, you guys are cheap. Thank you for noticing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. That guy just called you cheap. No, no, no. He pronounced it cheap. But what he was saying was smart. <laughs> Very smart, he was saying. <laughs> We're cheap. We're, you know, here's the thing, too. It's not like I'm up here going, you Indian people are cheap, and I'm the one that's not. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just as fucking cheap as you. The difference is now I have money. I'm just cheap in better stores. <laughs> I'll be looking at like an Armani shirt. I hate when this happens. I'm looking at a shirt from like a high-end designer and I flip the tag over and I see made in India. I'm stuck with a real dilemma. I'm like, shit, do I buy this? Or do I call my uncle? I wonder if he knows where this factory is. We are cheap. Everybody's cheap, aren't they? Never call white people cheap. White people get really upset when you call them cheap. You ever call the white person cheap? They get very angry. Because white people actually are, are probably the only people that aren't cheap. You ever call a white guy cheap? You're cheap. Fuck you, I'm cheap. I'll buy you a beer. You want a beer? That's how white guys get around being cheap. You want a beer? 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 Huh? You want a beer? Huh? Fuck you, I'm not, I'm not cheap. I bought everybody beer. Everybody's cheap. It's all about levels, you know? Where are the Jews at? Jews in the house? All right, Arabs, the Jews are in here. Go talk to them. You've got some hugging to do. <laughs> Jews, I don't know how you got the title of being cheap. It's very offensive to Indian people. And people are like, Jews are cheap. We're like, no, that is very incorrect. <laughs> I am cheap. Jews are thrifty. <laughs> Big difference. There must have been like one Jewish guy back in the day who was cheap and he fucked it up for the rest of you for the rest of your lives. Because Jews aren't actually cheap. You know who's cheap? Asians. Asians are cheap as shit. Chinese people specifically. Where are the Chinese people at? Where are you? Always the Wu family. Nice. Um, Chinese people, you are cheap, like, it's crazy. But it's about levels. Like, if you were to rate, like, the top three cheap people in the world, Indians for sure would be number one on that list. See? See the pride in it? Oh, yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. We are ek dam number one. We are... <laughs> Indians for sure number one on that list. Very, very close second, Chinese. And Jews will give you third place, you know, just to keep you in the game. How about that, you know? So you don't feel like you're losing everything, all right? So... <laughs> but it's all about levels. Like, let's just say there's a Louis Vuitton boutique, right? An Indian guy will walk past this Louis Vuitton store every day of his life and never once step foot in there. Like, not even on their best sale will I be going in there. No, thank you. Now, if Louis Vuitton's having a sale, Jewish guy's going in and he's buying shit. It was on sale, what do you want? Machus. <laughs> Chinese people, sale or no sale? You're going into Louis Vuitton every day. You never buy shit. 
but you'll go in every day. Sales guy, like, can I help you, sir? Uh, no, just uh, looking. <laughs> Minute sales guy turns his back, Chinese guy whips out a camera. <laughs> Goes home, emails the pictures to Hong Kong. <laughs> Make this bag quickly. <laughs> We're selling to the Indians. That's a sale you never want to see happening. A Chinese guy trying to sell an Indian guy a Louis Vuitton bag? Neither one of them can say Louis Vuitton properly. <laughs> hey, Mr. Indian guy. You want to sign a pack? <laughs> Who's this? Who's he? This is the Indian hand motion for I don't know. I don't know. Who's he? Who's he? I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Who's he? Who's this? Who's this guy? <laughs> it's uh, the sign of pack. It's uh, initials uh, LV. <laughs> who's, he? who's this LV? Who's he? <laughs> Remember growing up, Dad, who finished the milk? I don't know. I don't know. I, <laughs> I wasn't there. I don't know. <laughs> Son, I can't hear. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing is coming. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to mean. <laughs> Nothing is coming. <laughs> Nothing. Who's this? Who's this LV? That's a design initial. Then it has a name underneath. Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? What the fuck are you saying? <laughs> I'm reading designer's name, Luz Wooten. Why don't you spell what you see? Okay. Okay. Okay, Luz. Luz is Luz, huh? Absolutely Luz is Luz. 150,000% sure? Luz is Luz. That's an Indian person convincing you of shit. You ever try and buy something you're like, oh, give me the best price. Okay, sir, I'm telling you, sir, final price. <laughs> best price. Take it and go. Take it and go. Take it and go. Okay, so lose. Lose is lose. All right, fine. Lose is lose. What's his last name? Weird. I didn't say say it all fucked up. I said spell it out. Okay. We. <laughs> you I. P D O N. Because that's how we spell shit. We'll go slow for like the first three letters, and then we jog through the other half of the name, don't we? We do the same thing with phone numbers. All right, give me your phone number. Okay. Two one two. Triple five. Eight two four six. And the messed up part is, we know the rhythm. <laughs> Here's the thing with Indian people being cheap. Our cheapness actually changed the world. You see, you may be sitting there going, well, how did your cheapness say it changed the world? Well, let me tell you how. Because our cheapness actually benefited everybody. We're so dedicated to being cheap for so long that Indian people actually created the number zero. <laughs> Do you know how much dedication that took? That means back in the day, some Indian guy was looking at the numeric system. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. None of those are amounts I want to pay. <laughs> then his friend came along and drew a circle. What's that? Nothing. <laughs> What's inside of it? Nothing. What's its value? 
nothing it's beautiful we shall call it zero take it and go